Martin often contended with an illness accompanied by a fever in the autumn. In 1639, Martin came down with the illness that he knew would be his last. Although Martin first laid down on his usual bed of boards, the prior ordered him to move to a regular bed in the infirmary. In the infirmary, there was an altar with a tabernacle that reserved the sacrament for when the time came for the last rites. Before Martin's final struggle with pains of illness, he saw Mary, the Mother of God, St. Dominic, and St. Vincent Ferrer by the altar. Soon, his struggle with the severe pain of fever set in. In this final contest, Martin asked for nothing but his crucifix, which he held in front of himself, frequently kissing it with tender care in the midst of great agony. A priest faithfully attended the bedside of Martin, ready to signal the brethren to assemble for Martin's last moments. Twice the priest was ready to give the signal, only to be stopped by a motion of Martin's arm. The third time, Martin permitted the signal to be given. Wooden clappers rang out down the corridors and through every corner of the monastery. All the brethren assembled, overflowing the room and spilling out into the hall. Many knelt down and wept. Father John, a dear friend of Martin, desired that Martin would look upon him one last time. He prayed silently for this favor. Martin opened his eyes one last time, looked at Father John, and smiled. John wiped the sweat pouring down Martin's face with his handkerchief, saving the handkerchief as a relic and a reminder of a friend. Closing his eyes and laying his head down, Martin then heard the friars start chanting the Salve Regina one last time. In this moment, peace came over Martin's face. Perhaps Martin was recalling the most beautiful moments of his life, the nightly vigils, the chanting of the psalms, the solemn masses. Following the Salve Regina, the friars began to sing the Credo in harmony, combining sublime beauty with the strength and triumph of the Holy Creed of the Church Fathers. It was during this last proclamation of the Holy Catholic faith that the crucifix slipped from Martin's hands and fell on his chest as he gave up his spirit. Martin passed on to his eternal reward on November 3rd, 1639, which we now celebrate as his feast day. Martin died a holy and peaceful death. He had spent his life in doing good as a humble brother of the Dominican order. But he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Soon his heroic life became known all over the world, and on May 6, 1962, Pope John Paul XXIII solemnly declared Martin de Porres a saint of God. O oh, Saint Martin, you have been raised up by Almighty God to show us the way to our true home. You have given us the good example and the encouragement that we need. We now realize from your life that all we have to do to win the reward of glory is to love and serve the merciful God. May we ever be humble that we too may be exalted unto everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. St. Martin de Porres, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.